Yo, YouTube, and welcome back to the channel today. Once again, we're coaching a subscriber. It's the boy Stonesy. The guy's an absolute legend. He's dropped in about 20 subs in the last last day across YouTube and Twitch. So show him some love in the comments. What we're gonna be doing is going through, breaking down this high rise control, showing you guys what I think you could have done better, what you did good in, and all that good stuff. All right, Stones, are you ready? So probably hit it. Perfect. Let's go through it and see what we can work with. So high rise control, an interesting one for me. Probably my favorite game, uh, probably my favorite map. I don't know, it's a weird one because I prefer Hardpoint, but yeah, I just like Hi-Rise as a map generally. I feel like it's a lot more mixy and I'm a fan of it. Straight away, let's go through and see the thought process. So you're going through the right-hand side. What you want to do on this map, okay, is you basically want to have the middle map control, okay? You want to have middle map on both sides. So you want to have on defense, which is where you're spawning now, you're basically on this side. You want to have the map control ideally from this line. So if you can have like people here posted up, that is perfect. If you could have like three people here where the arrows are and then one player like in the spawn, you're in a really good spot, okay? Keeping them trapped at the back. Offense, exact same thing. The, that's the kind of key. That's the kind of trick of what you want. You want kind of three people pushed up across the map. So even if it's something like this on offense, okay? I'm just setting the scene, right? Because what we have is like an idea and then once we play, we can start to execute it. So if you could have something like this, this is like an insanely like powerful setup right now you have like someone on a um one watching over one on b and one in the spawn again keeping them trapped in that's the kind of basis of what we're working for okay happy with that yep perfect so now we have the setups all we're going to try to do is try to get that and execute it so let's see what we do starting off you're going through the right hand side you're going to push through that's fine <clears throat> your teammates are going through the left you're going through the right you're, you're basically the sole man on right right now so what i want to see you do right now is Kind of just push through and see what we can do. Someone's actually behind you. So right now, if we look on the minimap, it's very clear he's on the stairs behind you. So you should be mm. going through. And this is probably an easy kill for you to get. Let's see if you do that. Okay, so you've kind of missed the mark there. I think right there, if you look at the minimap, and this is just about speed and efficiency, look at the minimap right now. No one's there. We can't see him. Okay, he kills my teammate. He's on the stairs behind me. Right now, if you get to that right there, you should be sliding there. Just get in there really quickly. Okay, go through, get that kill, but you've left him. That's fine. Not the end of the world, but you've left him. Two of your teammates now die. This is really important. Somebody goes past you. So right now, in my head, I've already painted a picture. Your teammate is, where is he? He's kind of on these stairs here. Your other two teammates are dead, and you're around here. What it looks like is you have somebody in your spawn, okay? You have somebody in your spawn, and there's one on A, and there's one that just went past. So this is what, in my head, is the image. Something like this. One thing I would be wary of is as you approach this guy, if you're flanking him, what you don't want to do is you don't want to get bad timing from number two there and die. Because if you die there, they then have a good setup. So this bit here is like you just have to basically sneak across as quickly as possible without dying. So let's see how you do that. So you're calling out top blue, you're jumping across, you're going through. And that's exactly what we spoke about. Look at that. So in terms of their setup, I think it was poor from them. They didn't have anybody watching blue. So they should have been a bit more wary, okay? So right now, you're going through. You're going behind him. Centering straight away, something we could work on. As you approach his gunfight, look at this. You have one guy right there, one guy in the hill, and a guy on the left, okay? Three of them aren't looking at you. So the way you approach his gunfight right now has to be clinical. This is a really big tip that I think can help you out. Right now, what you want to do is, because you're behind them, whoever you decide to kill, go for a headshot. As soon as you shoot them in the head, right, what you're going to notice is you're going to make them like, you're going to kill them really quickly, okay? No, that's not me, Vima. That's my boy, Stonesy. This is Stonesy's gameplay, by the way. Anyways, yeah, you're going to go through. You're going to shoot this guy. In the you want to kill him as quick as possible, and then you want to kill these other two, okay? So that's what you do. Shoot the first guy. Reposition the second. That's perfect. What you did there was really good. That's exactly what you want to see, okay? So good stuff. You get a two-piece. Now, that guy's dead, though. Again, just minimap awareness. You get one. You get two. two piece. You see the guy right there? Look at the video. He's getting shot. That guy kills him. I know it was a little bit hard to identify that as quick as possible. But as soon as he kills him, as soon as that guy kills him, you now need to turn around and say, right, if we look at the minimap, there's three of them now dead. So you did a really good play. You killed him. You killed him. This guy's now dead. They're going to be spawning up, okay? So what you want to do in this scenario is you know they're going to be spawning up. You need to block, you need to push out and basically spawn trap them. The way you do it is up to you. There's so many ways of spawn trapping them. You can be, you know, standing up here. You can be standing on the prone. You can go push, whatever you want to do. The point is you want to kind of spawn trap them, all right? So let's see what you do here and how long it takes you to react. This is the speed aspect I was talking about. Let's see. So look right here, 
Minimap awareness, you should know he's dead. Turn around. So there's only one guy in your base. One guy in your base, the rest of them are spawning up, okay? Mm -hmm. This is the worry. They could come behind you right now. And look at this. For me, I don't like this play from you. It's a little bit risky just going through right now. You can see as you go through, I think it's a little bit risky because right now, if he comes to the left right now, this is where centering is a big issue. If he comes to the left right now, I think he kills you. Like if he just walks out, he sees you. I think he kills you, okay? So you've got to be a bit more careful. You see one there, you go across. Good shot. So overall, your shot's fine. It's just about being a little bit smarter there. Guy right behind you again, mini map. So right now, this play is just a bit like, it's just crazy. Like this play is just not needed for me. I'm in their spawn as your comp, right? They've already mm -hmm. left the spawn right now. This was just a bit like, you don't need to push out that far. You don't need to sit on their spawn, you, you need to guy? trap them in. There's a difference because think about it. If you're going to push them here and stand right there, the only that I've seen videos like Octane that they spawn trap like they spawn trap them there, right? If mm -hmm. you have the full setup, like you, you block every other spawn. Right now, all they're going to do is simply spawn on the ground because you, you're literally standing on their spawn, okay? Or something crazy, they'll spawn behind you like hell. The point is, this isn't the best play. You want to keep them trapped there. You don't necessarily have to be standing right there, okay? Okay, all right. Bye. I see what you do. You go through. It's going behind you. Okay, you're pushing through. And now you're like, I'm in their spawn. I'm in their, I'm in their spawn. And like you're noticing, no one's really there. You're like, ah, oh, let me back off. There's no one really there. Going through. You're behind two of them, okay? Again, just trigger discipline. Think in the bigger picture right now. Go for a little respawn. Get ready for the next gunfight. You see two of them right here. This is where accuracy is a big thing, okay? Logically... I see why you went for this guy because he's the one going furthest, but I feel like this guy's the safest kill. You're probably not going to kill this guy. So now look, you shoot this first guy. This guy's got time to turn around and now you're like, shit, you've actually let him go and he no, almost kills you. Uh, Just a really small detail blue. there, but something we can work on, okay? Because now look, he actually kills your teammate. There we go. Now you go through again, you get the kill, it's fine. Perfect. Very, very, very. Again, I need you right now to stay up there. Like you, you had such a good spot there. I don't want you right now. Like, you don't need to push back. You should be worrying about the spawn traps. So your job right now, being the guy pushed up, you simply need to just be worrying about keeping them trapped in the spawn. You should just be keeping them trapped in the base right now. That's what you need to be doing. Keeping them trapped. Make sure they don't escape, okay? So let's go through. Because now, look. Yeah, now you're backing off. They, they just, you're giving them room to kind of get out of the spawn. 3v2, there's going to be two on B. Big Q, you take out one. That's fine. I love this from you. Good reposition. That's fine. Good stuff there. I'm okay with this again. You're trying to be oh, shot to you right now. <laughs> That's oh, fine. You're just going to go through. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. you're talking at that point. I think you're talking at that point, Stones. <laughs> yeah, you go through. Yeah. I mean, that's a bit unfortunate. <laughs> but, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> what are we trying to jump on that ledge there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just a small detail. When you go up a ladder right now, you can actually shoot them from the ladder. You don't need to fully commit here. So you could have actually pre-aimed him from the ladder and had more of a chance than kind of pushing that fully, right? Just, Just a small detail there. Now you're dead. Going to go through. They're now getting both points. So this is like a problem. Considering you had such an advantage, got to be a little bit quicker there. Again, same thing there. The point's about to be secured. Like, I think right now you're just taking your time. Look how close the point is to being secured. You need to be slide cancelling here, like getting more aggressive. Right now, like even the way you're checking this, I would rather you slide around the corner, like slide cancel and really take this gunfight. I think you took too long and he was able to kill you. That gunfight for me looked like a free one. I think you could have actually had that one. Now you're going through. Now you're on the back foot. Down by six lives. There's one in front of you. They're pushing you. Now you're like, shit. They kind of get us in a trap here. AB16 and they win the round. You were in a scenario. When you pushed up to their base, you should have... That was a time to spawn trap them. Okay? When you were back here... This is where you should have spawned them. Bro, honestly, even if you went like, like something stupid, like even if you were there and you, you jumped on the side ledge and went up top or something, like just get them in the spawn trap right there. This is where you lost the round. When you, when you died here and you pushed back, that's where you lost the round, okay? Because you yeah. gave them a second chance. So right there, you want to be more punishing. You want to make sure you keep them trapped there. That was a perfect scenario to keep them trapped and kind of exploit that. Let's go through and see what you do here. Okay, interesting. This guy at the bottom. Let's see how you push this one. Good shots. You take one out. Perfect. Guy in uh, front of you. He gets two of your teammates. Again, just like the way you approach these gunfights, we've got to be more careful. Like right now, this right now, I think you should, first of all, like get rid of the dive. Like I think you've got, um, just, just have a uh, dive uh, off, like slide only. Because right now you're diving a lot of like unnecessary times. Guy in front of you, guys on your right. Stun the floor. Like do a little bit more right now. You're kind of standing in the open. You don't really want to jump on the hill when you're by yourself. 
Because what you're happening is right now, think about it, okay? Your team's all dead. So as soon as your teammate dies right now, they don't know where you are. As soon as you jump on the hill, you've told them, hi, I'm Stonesy, I'm on the hill. I'm the last guy, I'm on the hill. They now are going to look at you. And this is the problem. Now look, two of them are pre-aiming you and you're just out in the open. Such a small detail, but a massive cost. Right there, you don't want to be standing on the hill. You want to be going through and you want to make them work for it. Okay? Work for that kill. Stop them. Because now look, now you're going to spawn at the back and now they might be spawn trapped. Now look, now you're at the back of that shit. Right there, you could have made a play. Instead of being like, this is a scenario right now. You're the blue team, okay? Mm -hmm. They have something like this. They've got one there, one there. I don't even know where the other guy was. Let's just assume he's up there. We have no idea. And then the other guy, I don't know. Let's just say he's there. Right? Again, we, we don't really know, okay? okay? So we're like, cool. This guy's hair is what it is. Now, three people, your teammates are dead. They're going to spawn hair. If I asked you, where would you like to be right now? If you had a magic kind of wand, you'd be like, ah, I tell you what, imagine if I could be behind them. That'd be great. Like, you could get the pinch off. You mm. could have done that. You were on the ground right now. This was you right now. All you had to do was think, right, big picture. Where are they going to be? They're going to be going for the spawn traps. Let me go under blue. Let me go behind them and try to get the kill, first of all. Or let me go sneak up behind them. Let me go up these stairs. Let me go behind them top heli. Do you know what I mean? Like, get behind them. Mm -hmm. Try to get a kill. Let's just say you did this round. Let's say you went round. You took your time. You went through. You killed this guy. This guy's here. You killed him. Not only have you taken one player out, number one is now going to look for you. You can mm -hmm. even jump back underground. You don't have to do anything else. The point is now, you've done enough to distract them. Now, not only is number three dead, number one is looking for you. What does that mean now? Your teammates are now, technically, in three versus two. They're only playing against two players. That is a difference. Just from you taking out that one player and distracting the other one, you're now in a three versus two, and that's what you want to start doing. Just making them work for it. Now, look, you're trapped in the base. You're going to go through. You're going to push out. And what did he do? He died. Against a better player there, I think he does more there. Okay, yeah. That was just a, a really bad spawn trap from them. So one thing is you guys got out, fair enough, but I don't think they put you in a real spawn trap. So against a better team right there, I think they get you in a blender, okay? They get you in a blender, they really trap you in the spawn. Look at this, it's perfect. What are you doing right now? You got behind them. That's what you should have done earlier. You got to get so this jump isn't for you, bro. We got to give this one up. We got to chalk it in the game. <laughs> Go in a private game, we'll get that practice, all right? <laughs> you, you really want that jump, don't you? You're like, bro, I need to get this shit. One time. Go through again. Let's see. Let's see how you approach the gunfight. Just a sliding again. The slide cancelling could be a bit better. The, the centering as well. We just got to work on it. Right now, like you're assuming he's there. We have no idea. Shoulder this. Shoulder for information. Remember what we did in our mechanic session with the shouldering. Mm -hmm. That's what we wanted to see more of. Okay. So see, you go through this guy right there. Should back off. Last like, oh, shit. I should have shouldered him. I should have should have been a bit more wary of that gunfight. Because look at this. From his POV, he's pre-aiming you, and you're not even looking at him. You're kind of looking underneath him. So just shoulder and do stuff like that. Let's go through. How do you how do you approach this now? First kill, you're perfect. You're gonna push through again. Second, this is fine. Now, what's the play? You have three things you need to do here. One, trophy system. If I'm the opponent, I'm spamming my equipment on you. So trophy system is a must right now. It's a must. Second of all, I think you have to use your equipment here. You know for a fact that at least one or two of them, right? are going to push one. They're going to push either this way here. They're going to push this back area here. Would you agree with that? Like, have you seen mm -hmm. that happen before to you? Yep. Yeah. So right now, if you're the guy on A, okay, you're, you're by yourself on A. Your teammates on B, realistically, they have middle covered. So if I'm you, I'm worried about this. I'm worried about this route here and this route here. Those are the main routes I'm worried about. They can come through this side as well, but there's a few options. The point is, you need to be like, what do I do? First of all, this right here should be a trophy system. You should put a trophy down to protect you. Because if I'm spawning up and I'm the red team, my first thing I'm doing is I'm spamming a stun and nade over. So first thing first, chuck a trophy. Second thing, they're going to be stunning and nading you. So I need to be wary of where they're coming from. I need to be chucking stun and nades back. If I'm watching this middle area, then I'm stunning and nading this area here. The point is use your equipment to your advantage right now. Make it easier for you. And look at that. That's the problem. Because you didn't stun and nade, you didn't check anything, you didn't really cover anything, he was able to literally walk up and sneak on you. Look at this. He was able to just walk past. You're watching the right. Okay, perfect. Why not stun and nade the left here? Trophy, way too uh, late. Should have been five it. seconds ago. Okay? I was trying to throw side. So you see yeah. the comment you said he got me. I was chucking my equipment. I think that should have been chucked ages ago.
Let's no, see what happens there. Now they've got you in a trap. And look at the difference. When they get you in a trap, it's so hard. So what that tells me is when you're playing defense, you need to get them in a trap. Okay? Now you're like, shit, they're in a the spawn. Good shots from you. Great shots. You're making one shot. Going to go across. A little bit of tunnel vision there. Tunnel vision from you. You spot the first guy. You see him on the right. You're like, right, is he weak? Cool. And then now, look, now you're like, shit. But you got to remember, there's still three more people. They don't have to all be there. They could be top heli. They could be on the left. And this is just tunnel vision from you. You're going to jump out. You're just worrying about the guy on the right. You're completely ignoring the left-hand side there. Good stuff. Now you've got the break. Okay, two down. They see you push up. Perfect. You push up. There's a guy in front of you. You're going to back away. I'm, I'm happy with this. It's a good play. You're actually going to pinch them. Okay. One thing I'm interested in is the comms here. Right. You have a teammate with you, right? Mm -hmm. This is where communication comes into factor. I play a lot of solo queue, so you guys don't see that side of it. When you're playing with a teammate, the biggest advantage is the communication. You should be telling your teammate right now, I'm making a play on the pinch. Stay alive. Get my top heli. This is the communication aspect. You should be telling your teammate right now, get top heli for me. I'm going to pinch them. Basically, this is what you should be saying. Yo, get the kills. I'm going to pinch them. Let's try to keep them in the spawn. I'll, I'll, I'll pinch them. Just make sure that no one's top heli. So that, that way, your teammate's watching top heli for you. You're pinching them. While your teammate gets the kills, you're telling him, don't worry about the hill right now. Let's set up for a big play. There's Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Four go down. Tell him, right, this, right now there's no communication. That's what we need to be working on. You should tell him, stack the hill. I'm pinching them. I'm behind them. Stack the hill right now. I've got you. This is the communication thing we need to work on. That was embarrassing. Holy shit. <laughs> I like your comment there. That was embarrassing. Holy shit. <laughs> right now, let's see what happens here. You're out in the open. If you're in their base right now, you're expecting them to be here. You don't need to be in full sprint. Where are you trying to go right now? Where do you expect them to be? I'm curious. Where do you expect them to be right now? Uh, coming out of that right side. Yeah? I, I, would, I would say I expect them to be coming through this middle more than the right, first of all. Me personally. But even if you think that they're coming out of the right, why not stand on this head glitch here? Do you know what I mean? Like, look at this. Let's mm. say you're running... I would rather you be on that head glitch there, ready for the gunfight. You're aiming this guy. Look at the difference now. This guy's right here. You're chasing him, but you're too close. You're too close to the gunfight. With an AR, it's very that difficult. You should have let him go past you. That was a bronze two player. It's not like he's better than you. It was just a bad position from you. And now, again, you, your teammate had no idea you were flanking, stuff like that. So you should just... This is the way you should just communicate more. Stay alive. Stay down. Okay? Stuff like that. It's a guy in blue. Good shot. Great shots. Good headshots. The guy in blue, see what you do here. You make the play here, so you go through again. 15 seconds again, should be telling him, right. Yo, jump on the hill, I'm flanking. Let's play together. You get one, okay, cool. Again, communication right now. Eight seconds left, see what you do here. There's a guy in front of you. This right now, you're not helping your team, right? 3v3, you should be helping them a little bit more. Now, look what you're doing right now. This right now for me is you're just relying on your team too much. Look, look what's happening. Your mm -hmm. teammates are now in a 3v2, 3v3, and look where you are. You're completely out of the gunfights. If your teammate dies right there, you are then in a 2v2, and they've got the advantage. There's only eight seconds left there. This for me is a very risky play. It's very unlikely that somebody's going to be here where you think they are. Very unlikely. They're probably going to be stuck in the hill, like around your teammates. So right there is a perfect example. I think you should have went through and held them on the, on the hill, okay? I'm dead. Mm hmm just a perfect example there just being a bit more cautious going through now they're 2v1 yeah so i think right there the last 20 seconds you didn't really do too much there and your teammates kind of just i say clutched up but you got a nice two piece to open up the play so it wasn't bad it was just at the end i think you could be a bit more cautious and and, and help your teammates but for me the biggest thing there was just communicating with your teammate you have someone you're filling with use that to your advantage communicate with them make sure you guys are on the same page you know what's happening okay yeah Perfect. Go through. Good kill there. Let's see what you're doing here. Oh, one second. Yeah, perfect. So you're going to go through again. Let's back off a little bit. See a guy on the left? I don't know if you saw him, but... Side wall, side wall. Yep. Got him. Nice. Okay, so you get the first kill. Now, how do you push up? Let's see. So again, now you know they're trapped in the base. How do you play this? Because I'm not actually seeing you pre in that left window too much. To now, for me, green. that's something we need to work on, okay? Just pre in that left window. So you get the first kill. Perfect. Your teammate comes out the right. You are still in a good spot here to keep them trapped in. 
But this is where you got to think. Like right now, you heli? just got to like, okay, good. That's a good combo. We up on heli, stuff like that. That's what I want to see more of. Right now, you're watching the left. Now, likelihood is they probably snuck through the right. You just got to be a bit more careful here. Let's see how you play this one. Like, I just don't like this spot from you, to be honest. Because I think they've already gone out. It's clearly, like, they've already clearly pushed out the right. Do you see Do you see what I'm saying here, though? Mm -hmm. Like, it's a good spot if they're coming through the left here. For me, personally, right now, top heli is a better spot. Like, this is where you should be pushed out, right here. This. Now you should be pushed out. But at this point, there's a guy on the left. You should have had that pre-aim already. Side wall, side this is wall, what I mean. Wall. Right now, yep. you kill this guy. You should be now pre-aiming the left glass here. But look what you do. You back up. Take your time. You're reloading. You're staying here. Then you're watching it. Okay, cool. At least you're watching it, but you give it up straight away. Look at this. He comes out there. You should have had that gunfight. You should have been ready for that, okay? Mm -hmm. Now you get one. Now this is interesting. This guy's dead. Look at the minimap. They've already gone past B. What that tells me is at least two of them are gone B. Two. Your teammate says it. Two B. So no one's spawning here because no one's dead from the other team. Only one player is dead. So only one person is going to spawn left there. This is what's really interesting. You're pre-aiming the spawn, expecting the spawn trap, but you have to look at the kill feed. If nobody's dead, how can they spawn here? They can't, unless they die, right? So right now, look what you're pre-aiming. You're only going to pre-aim one person, in my opinion. So you're holding it. That's fine, if that's what you play. You go through. The guy's probably on the right. You're taking your time. And again, look, you're kind of waiting on the spawn trap, but only one person's died in the last 30 seconds from, your, from the enemy team. Mm -hmm. And that's him right there. So you get the kill. Perfect. Let's go through. There you go. So it's just about being decisive. Do I want to spawn trap or do I want to back off? Once you get this first kill, again, now that like one or two have died here, there's going to be at least two of them here. So you get through, you take out one, you slide across, you try to jump in. It's just like, I think right there, you just kind of like the timing was a little bit off. The, yeah, see, even there, like you said, I was kind of in their spawn. I feel like you were just not really sure to look at the kill feed and that's the biggest thing, okay? Using the kill feed is a massive, massive factor there. Top elevators. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Perfect. Your teammate gets the right side. They're going to be on B. What can we do here? No, don't. Oh, what's happening here? Why is this stuck? Why is this stuck? B. One minute. We're on 10.47. Okay. Can you see him? You okay? No. Yep. Yeah, I don't know why that was. All right, perfect. Yeah. What happens there? They're going to go through. They're going to chuck a nade over. They're going to be on B. This is a perfect example of what we need to work on. If I'm the opponent right now, I think this lobby wasn't very punishing. If I'm the opponent right now, I'm watching this right lane that you're going through. Look at this. As you're going through this right lane, you need to be slide cancelling and pre-aiming right now. Look what you do. You're just standing here in the open with your gun up. If I'm the enemy right now, I'm pre-aiming you right now. Now look, you see what I mean though? Like your, your gun's up too much here. Scenarios like that, your gun can't be up there. You have to be more snappy, like ready for the pre-aim, okay? Mm -hmm. Now look what you're doing now. Imagine this, right? Imagine if you're pre-aiming like you were now. Let's go back and see what happens. That's good comms there. You're telling us that's fine. I like that. That's better from you there. Look at this. If this guy right now runs at you with his gun up, that's an easy gunfight for you. That's what you were doing to them. You don't want to be like that. You don't want to be an easy gunfight. You want to be a bit more aware of what you're doing. Great shots there. You're making one top shot. Heli weak, top heli weak. Push up a little bit. So there's two down. The last guy is top heli, and we don't know what the other one is. So right now you should be pushing up a bit. Getting map control. You don't want to be trapped in your base here. So you know one's heli, really but this weak. is the problem. You're giving them so much room to work with. Like right now, you don't want to be trapped there. You want to be pushed up as much as possible. What you're doing now, should have done 30 seconds ago. I'm going to get top uh, elevator. I'm okay with this. I I'm okay with what you're doing. But again, it's about speed. Just do it a little bit earlier. This is absolutely fine. Now they're behind you. Turn around. Right now, it's two people behind you. So why did they get through? Because you let them, when you were back here, you gave them so much room, they basically went underground, okay? So we just got to be way more quicker there. But can you see the correlation? It's not like you didn't make the right... You weren't like you weren't doing anything bad, but you just... The lanes you were covering, you were too deep, and you just didn't have the map control. Again, similar thing here, bro, but like, you know what? My teammate's on the left there. Perfect. My teammate dies on the left. Okay, what's the play? They're going to come left there. They only have 10 seconds. Stun and nade the shit out of this. Stun and nade. Pre-aim pre this. There you go. You're pre-aiming it. We've got to stun and nade it. It's got to be a bit more aware there. We go through and end up getting traded. Not what you want to see. Bro, why does this keep blocking my screen? Understairs, understairs. So trolly. Why does that keep happening? It keeps blocking my whole screen. Yeah, Twitch rods are so annoying. I don't know why. Uh, Sorry, really YouTube's so much more smooth, but it's all right. So right there, just good bait and switch from them. They go through, they get one. Again, you're going to push through. And again, you're just kind of running in the open. 
Like, I like this lead from you, but just, just right now, you're like, okay, I'm running in. Chuck a stun right here again. Chuck a stun. Really, like, try to make them work for it. You go through, you end up dying. And there's a few times that you're just kind of pushing in without too much, and your teammates end up kind of clutching up there. Oh, what a fucking... There you go. So your teammates get a two-piece, they end up clutching up there. But in terms of your individual, it wasn't like you're losing a lot of gunfights. It was simply for me, like, the positioning that you were taking was just too deep. You weren't... I just don't think you were understanding the map enough. Is that fair to say? Mm -hmm. Like, you won't understand the kill feed. You won't look at the kill feed and correlating it. Oh, three are dead. Okay, that means three are spawning, and that's what we need to see a bit more of. Blue dead. Good shots there. Uh, Unlucky. Second guy pushes you. It's all good. Now you're in a spawn trap. How are you going to get out of this? So they're just not punishing you right now. So you're in a good spot here. But in terms of your actual um, gunfights, I want to see a few more jump shots, a few more... This is good. This is a lot better. The way you're approaching this is a lot better. Shoulder right now. Let's see. Shoulder in for information. It's a guy right on top of you, okay? Look at the kill feed. It's a guy right on top of you. Let's see how you approach this. So now we can see on the minimap there's someone on top of you. Let's see what you do here. Off of B. Right there. Okay. So you can just tell that you won't look at your minimap there, yeah. right? It's a guy right on top of you. You weren't really aware, and you kind of just stood there. Of Maybe B. you were looking at the minimap, but right now I feel like you just got to be aware that he's going to push you there. He's outside B, outer B, or outer A. Sorry, Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Any questions so far, you? No. Man, nah, you're watching the right now. Cool. I'm okay. I've got the right here. He comes up top blue. He's dead. Shit, I, like, I like that confidence from you. You're watching blue. But now again, so where's my team right now? This is the big disconnect. My team are all at B. They're all fighting. Right now, I'm holding the flank at blue. Where you could be a lot more impactful right now is just top heli. You're not making the wrong plays. You're just making the least impactful plays, in my opinion. Like, for example, you watching this area here is a good play. In hindsight, it's a good play. You know what? If they pinch you, you've got the whole push, right? This is good. But all you're doing is what... This is the only thing you have. On the whole map, this is the little box you have. What mm -hmm. I want to see is... Oh, shit. My team are all on B. Okay. Interesting. They don't really have a lot of map control. They're kind of fighting. Where are they? they they're kind of fighting. They're all over the place. If I can get to top heli... And I can stand here, right? Not only can I help them watch B, I can watch their whole middle. If somebody pushes through, I can chuck a stun and nade. I can also watch my flank. The point is, from this spot, you can have so much more map control. You can watch over them. You can watch A. You can watch B. You can watch your flank. You could just have a lot more impact. And that's why I want to see a bit more from you. Just right now, while your team's on the left fighting, you want to just be helping them a bit more. One coming in blue, B. See, this is the problem. Look, you go through, you're fighting one guy. It just... Your whole team was fighting on B. I thought right there, you kind of missed the mark again. How can I be in the best power spot? How can I really help them? Good shots right there. Team goes through. It's two down. Power spot right now. There's three of you on the hill. If I'm the other team right now, I'm going... If I'm top Peli, this is an easy kill for me. Look, this guy right behind you. Again, he completely missed the mark now. I think a better player there, he kills you. So I think you got quite fortunate here. Like right now, he kills your teammate. If I'm the opponent right now, I have to be killing you here. You're literally out in the open behind nothing, and he just choked that. But good stuff from you there. But I think right there, that was more your opponent trolling. Now, this is okay. You're watching the middle. This is better. You're watching the middle. There's a guy on your right, though. Again, stop worrying about the hill. Start worrying about the minimap, okay? Look at the minimap. What can I do to help my team right now? I need to have heli control. Okay, perfect. Let's get heli control. This right here is an obvious cry for help on heli. Look at it. You First of all, he's right there. Okay. Second of all, you should heli should just be a priority anyways. But right now, this is a perfect example. You should have been able to like shoot this guy right now. Instead, you just dove straight on the hill and then looked right. You see what I mean? Look how unsmooth that looked. So you go through. Instead of looking in the right straight away, you slide left and then you look right. You just made it way hard on yourself. Now he sees you and then you look at him. That gunfire right there, you could have had that if you just looked at him earlier. A little bit unfortunate. Again, timing. When we pause it, it's a lot easier. But these are the things we got to be worried about. I haven't seen you one time this round go top heli or top propane. A lot of the gunfights you're doing are very one-dimensional. You're going blue. You're going middle. You're going on the same level. Get that high advantage. Start picking some people apart. Like Get those kills. Really, really make your team have the advantage. That's what we need to work on. The high advantage is everything. Okay? Two down. Your teammates on the point. Right now, if I'm you, I'm going A. 
I'm okay going B here, but I'm actually going A and I'm making them really work for it. But I'm okay with this. This is fine. Elevator side B. There's a guy left there. You're going to watch it. God damn. Let's see what you do here. We got to get some trophies out here. Elevator side B, elevator side B. There's three of them on there. I think your teammate could have done better to help you there. But again, it's just, it's not bad. It's just overall, there's a lot of like mixy things that I think we could just clean up a little bit. Good kill there. There's one. Oh, no, crack check a window. The comms are fine. The comms oh, are clean right now. You're watching. But one thing I would say is tell them what to pick up. So like, look, I've got your middle. Watch your right. Okay. Just little, little things to improve your comms there. Weak, 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 weak. Crack Good check. stuff. Weak, crack check. That's perfect comms. The guy behind you. Again, just tell, tell him what you're picking up or what you're leaving, and that can make them really help you out, okay? So right now, if you're like watching middle, you should tell him, watch my middle, I've got your right. The guy in the hill, look what he's doing. Your friend right there, look what he's watching. He's watching your teammate. That, to me, says a lack of minimap awareness. Look at your friend right there, okay? He's watching the flank. Right now, you should be telling him whatever his name is. Yo, bro, is it Yarbo? Yo, yo, watch behind me. Watch behind me. Watch my middle. He watches your middle right now. You watch his right. Look at this. You watch his right, he watches behind you. Perfect setup. Look what he's watching right now. He's watching your teammate. Okay? This is the thing of an in-game leader. This is what you can work on. Look at you right now. Nobody's watching that. If we look at the arrows, look what he's watching. He's watching the right, but no one's there. You've got that whole push. That's what you need to tell him. Bro, watch behind me. Okay? If you want to get to that next level, you guys are silver right now, like silver, bronze, stuff like that. I think you're easy you can get into gold, but even as a two, if you want to get to platinum and stuff like that, that's the thing we need to be working on. Just helping each other out, communicating and stuff like that. All right, bro. Oh, shit. All right. Go through two v two. Let's see what you do here. Yeah, he's he's heli. He's heli. Got him. What will happen now? Okay, your teammate takes out one. So right now you're in a 2v1. Can your teammate hear you? He can hear you, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This right now you're in a 2v1. You see him on the hill right now because it's red. Mm -hmm. There is no information that tells your teammate he's on the hill. Right now, you should... Okay. Yo, Jarvis, he's on the hill. Go top penny. We're going to pinch him. You, you got a stun. Chuck a stun right now. Look at this. You go through. You're shouldering it, right? I've got a question for you. If he kills you right now... Mm -hmm. How long will it take for your teammate to go there? He's still a while away. Yeah. He's, yeah. If you die right now, look, fair play, you won the gunfight. You're one shot. If you die right there, if you miss one bullet, you could potentially lose this round. It's little things like that we need to work on. Okay? If this guy was mm -hmm. better and he kills you, you're now like, shit, it's a 1v1. It. Right there, you should shoulder it. Chuck a stun, play for information. Very small details, but that's what's going to get you those wins against better players. All right, bro? But overall, nothing bad. Good stuff. Just about being a bit faster in your pacing. Again, you went negative, but I didn't see I didn't see you getting fried, to be honest with you. I didn't see a world where you were getting fried. I think a lot of it was just kind of down to like pacing issue and like sometimes you're too slow. Sometimes you won't look at the, the kill feed. And it's just about tying those things together and really working on them. Overall, your gunfights were actually okay. It's honestly, that was the biggest factor for me. YouTube, you guys know the drill. Show some love in the comments. Make sure to drop a like and I'll catch you guys for another one tomorrow. Peace.